Tell us, Chicago for Dancers is one of those shows that it's a dream job. Every dancer goes, if I was to do any musical, I want to do Chicago. What was the audition process like for you? Uh, the audition process for me was actually quite surreal because I actually auditioned for Chicago 10 years ago um, in Sydney. Wow, well, you must have been 18. very young. I was, I was, just gonna I was say. 18, 19, yeah. and um, I actually made it right to the very end of the audition process and um, obviously didn't, didn't get the job, but, but for me it was, I didn't expect to get the job because I was so young. And, um, but getting all that way But getting all well. that way for me, at that time, I got out of full time and uh, it was amazing. And then I guess, as you say, it really is a dancer's dream or a musical theatre person's dream as a dancer. Sure. Um, so 10 years later, I'm auditioning for the show that I so desperately, and at this time I was like, I'm the right age. I'm more mature. Yeah, um, definitely. And there's that feel with it as well. That mature, yeah. sexy, it really. It is sassy. Um, it's very sassy and sexy and sensual, but it's 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 wonderful. And, and to be there again, but, you know, it was a different feeling this time because, as I said, I was more mature and, and, you know, had more to give, I guess, had more experiences in life to be able yeah. to, you know. Yeah, um, definitely. With this show and, and to actually get the show was, well, I cried all day. <laughs> I can imagine. I'm sure I most did. of most I of the did. ensemble members cried as soon as when I they found, found out. out. I cried all day, but um, I was sobbing. But it was fantastic, and I just uh, couldn't believe it. And, and now I am. I'm living the dream. It's great. As people that are going to go for a musical and leading up to it, what would you suggest that they do? What was your preparation? Okay. I have always found that having a strong technical background is always a really important thing because it always goes back to having that ballet training, having that ballet technique. I hated ballet when I was growing up, but it was something that I focused on when I went to full time. So yeah. it's and it's always been a good grounding from then on. But yeah, it was quite a surprise to see so many good dancers get cut straight away because they just couldn't yeah, you're just not strong enough. Yeah, so even going, you know, doing those beginner jazz basic oh, classes it's and everything. Look, there's classes at Sydney Dance, like you can do beginner classical and people are always there, yes to have fun but also to work on your technique. So yeah, definitely. it's definitely worth having that technical background. Tell us about your experience in becoming involved in this Australian production of the show. Oh gosh, that goes back about 11 years. I was involved in the original Australian production. Yes. Um, and uh, we toured, Mel I did Melbourne, Adelaide, Sydney. Um, the production then went on to, to tour um, other cities and into Asia. Um, from that production, I was dance captain of that production, with, also with Jason Coleman, we shared the role, because um, it is a big dance show. Um, when, we, when we heard that um, this was being slated, we got a phone call from, um, I said got a call saying would I, would I be interested in dance captaining this production. Then we did the audition process and I'm really blessed to be on stage as well, play Hunyak, the Hungarian as well. So um, I have Stephen Grace, to help me out with dance yeah. captain duties and um, yeah. So what's involved, for people that aren't aware of the role of a dance captain, can you tell us a little bit about what's involved? Sure, primarily it's maintaining the choreography, it's um, seeing to the welfare of the dancers, so making sure that everyone is safe, everyone, um, everyone is being the best that they can be. Um, a little bit like a mother hen, would you say? A little bit, but a little bit, but also um, prim your primary concern is that we're staying true to the choreography and we're telling the story of the show and that we're not deviating from the director and the choreographer's vision. So because as you can imagine in a, in a long run people grow, they get used to the they get used to the movements and they grow and it's 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 fabulous to watch people claim it and and particularly this show where the style is so important that we just need to hone it in sometimes and just make sure we're, we're all and, on the same page. And what's the process in doing that? So do you meet after shows or weekly or how does that work? Generally we try and stay on top of it um, with basically we give notes so uh, say either Steve and I will be out front um, we'll watch the show or if people, uh, sometimes it's just traffic issues, things will shift slightly on stage and people have trouble getting through yeah. different traffic things or um, 
if you start to notice that, uh, or when I'm not on stage, I'll watch from side stage and stuff like that. We, we try to keep on top of it in notes, so at warm up, we'll, we'll give notes, or we'll just grab everyone and just tidy up a few things. Um, because understudy calls have been, I so you can imagine with this amount of principles, understudy calls take up a lot of our time. Um, we try to have maintenance, like clean up calls or maintenance calls on the choreography, but everyone's pretty fabulous and we generally take care of it bit by bit. Because talk us through rehearsals for the show. Yeah. So for people that you know aren't aware of what happens in a rehearsal, mm -hmm. um, I know you go very quickly. Yes. Um, and you don't have a lot of time. Can you talk us through the process yeah. for this show? Um, well, day one, you usually walk in like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because you don't know who you're working with. You're that excited to be working um, and also to be doing a show such as this or any other show that you might be doing. But um, walking into rehearsals for the first day, there is so much anxiety, but good anxiety as well. Because sure. you're working with, especially this, we worked with some of the American um, choreographers and we worked with a, a, an English director and, and so forth. So you walked in there and it was basically set new. And the most amazing thing was, sometimes I think in performing arts when you when you first meet people on the first day, it can be a bit like, oh, and it's a bit like running through your resume. But the weird thing was about this was that we all walked in and just the gags were flying every, you know, within seconds and we're all just yeah. having a ball and having a laugh and you don't even know the person that's sitting next to you just yet but you're having a laugh with them and making fun about something or whatever yeah. it was. So it was it was such a really cool, relaxed environment to be in and it's because the, a lot of the show is choreographed and it's all set but there's a lot of improv as well so you artistically you can sort of bring something of your own and, yeah, definitely. and you can work with the choreographer and the director and see what works and what works with um, with your colleagues and so forth and, and have a bit of a laugh and of course draw from experiences from Caroline and, and Sharon and yeah so it was, um, it was rehearsal period was it's there are long days um, there's blood, sweat, tears, um, but there's also a lot of laughs, which people don't generally talk about. But, um, yeah, but that's, I guess that's healthy and very important. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you go to work every day and this hurts and that hurts and, and whatever, and everyone's got their tiger bomb and they're rolling out their injuries and stretching and, and this and the next thing, but it's amazing. Rehearsals are probably the hardest part of doing the show, but um, yeah. also quite enjoyable as well, because you, you, you're just working your body really, really hard and, yeah. and you're working with everyone, you're getting to know everyone and learning how they move and how you move and it helps create the scene.